Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If it's not your first time here, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to talk about performance and what the judge is looking for when you're going in a hunter class. So let's get started. If you'd like to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. So I was at the horse show the other day and I heard people talking as I was walking by and the person said, oh geez, my, the judge doesn't like my horse and uh, why did that horse win over my horse and the judge doesn't like my horse, must not like gray horses or doesn't like the way my horse moves or I shouldn't wear this black saddle with the gray horse because it doesn't look good or I guess I should have worn my brown gloves and not my black gloves and I'm here to tell you that you know what the judge really does want you to do well and the judge really does like your horse generally speaking the judge is really rooting for you and hoping that you do have a good round because there's nothing worse as far as judging goes than trying to figure out is 10 trotting steps trying to get a lead better than a wrong lead all the way around the day around, around the ring or a bad jump or just it's just a mess so the judge really does want you to do well but maybe on that day if there's 20 horses in the ring 20 horses participating in that class that you know what maybe there was a better horse in the ring on that day it's not because the judge doesn't like your horse it's because maybe there was a horse that performed better maybe the horse there was a horse that moved better or maybe there was a horse that jumped a little bit better had a bit more better form over top of the fences and i'm going to show you this in this video so let's try it shall we okay so you can see the horse over here in going over the first jump of this combination this clip is only four seconds long and you can see this horse and rider combination entering in into this two stride combination this looks like a picture perfect jump the horse's knees are up the horse's ears are up the rider's looking forward it looks absolutely lovely doesn't it so we're just going to run through this Whip. And now we're just going to go through it again so that you can see the difference between jump number one that you see right here and jump number two. Lovely, and we're going to stop it right there. And it's only because there's one thing difference between the first jump and this jump, and that is the position of the horse's ears. The horse's ears are not forward and it really detracts from the picture. So it's not that the judge doesn't like your Horse. The horse is jumping beautifully. You can see here in this picture that the horse's knees are up and they're above the horizontal. The horse is in beautiful form over top of this jump. But if you happen to miss that part of the jump and see the horse at this part of the jump or even that part of the jump, you're going to have a different feeling about the way this horse jumps. Granted, it is at a different part of the jump, whereas uh, when he's, the horse is going over it. In this position, you can see that the horse's knees are well up. And this is what you want to see when you're going into the hunter. The only thing that detracts from this picture is the horse's ears are back. If you contrast this picture with the horse's ears back, it doesn't look really happy there, does he? as opposed to this picture where the horse looks really happy looking forward, his knees are parallel and you can see that they're just not quite as up even as at the second one. Maybe it's just starting down the, the path. Beautiful photo, beautiful horse, beautiful position, beautiful legs on it, but it's those little things like the way the horse carries themselves around the horse that is going to give that impression. It's the impression of the horse. It's the impression, the way the horse is, is, uh, is carrying himself. So it's not that the judge doesn't like your horse. It's not that the judge doesn't like your horse. The judge likes your horse. 
just dislike your horse anyway. It's just the whole picture of the horse. We just saw one horse going over two jumps and the feeling you get of the horse coming over the first jump is different than the feeling you get of the horse going over the second jump. And it's not that we don't like the horse, it's just that it looks in the second jump that the horse doesn't like its job. The number one thing to remember, it's it's your performance. And your performance means that you have to get to all your jumps. No refusals, no knockdowns, and getting the correct striding. That's your performance. And part of your performance is the whole way your horse carries itself and the way you carry yourself when you're going around the, the course. It's your style. It's the horse's movement. It's their jumping ability, their jumping style over top of the fence. And one horse may be that much better than the other horse, and one horse may have a better movement than the other horse, and one horse may have enjoy its job more and really have fun at it, which will carry itself over into the, your perception of that course and the way the horse does it. It's not that the judge doesn't like your horse. The judge doesn't dislike your horse, and the judge is really hoping that you do a good job, because if you do have a good, nice horse and it jumps well and you mess up or the horse messes up somehow, rolls a rail down or messes up a lead somewhere or chips in, then the judge really is disappointed because if you're doing such a great job and you judge really likes that horse, then they're really rooting for you. It's not because the judge doesn't like your horse. So get that out of your head. And if you're in a class with 20 other horses or more, maybe there is a horse that's moving a little bit better today than your horse. Maybe your horse doesn't like the footing on that day. There's so many factors and it's not because the judge doesn't like your horse. The judge is looking for good things in your horse and the judge wants to do a good job and pick the best horse for that, for that day. And it's not necessarily just the, the jumps, it's how those jumps are put together. The canter in between the jumps, how the horse carries itself in the corner. Maybe you got to all the jumps and the horse jumps beautifully, but it cuts the corners off or, you know, when they cut the corner off and the horse's head is cranked to the outside. Maybe that happened. And those, all those little things are going to, are going to have the, uh, overall appearance. It's going to be the overall appearance, overall appearance of your round. And it's not because the judge doesn't like your horse. So get that out of your head. It's probably because there was a better performance in the ring. That's all. It's everything together. And it's not because the judge doesn't like your horse, because that's not true. The judge probably doesn't even know your horse. If you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Thanks now. See you later.